Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're in awesome Bangkok today. Waza and I and a friend Charlie are gonna go to a night market. I don't know the name of where we're going, so I'll put the link below. But we just got onto the brand new MRT. And weirdly enough, it uses the BTS card, not the MRT card. But anyway, we're on the monorail. It's a beautiful car. I've showed you the monorail before. Oh, here's Waza. I don't want to talk when he's talking. But we're going to take you to the night market. It should be fun. And I'm going to just go and show you what the monorail looks like while we're driving along. It's pretty neat. It's pretty smooth, too. But the weird thing is, Waza, say, there's Waza. Shanya and Waza's Thailand. Sebel, Sebel out. So the weird thing about these monorails is that occasionally the wheel comes off and the monorail gets stuck. So let's hope that it doesn't happen today. Well, not only, not only that, what I've been reading recently, I think yesterday, there was bits from off one of them. We slashed into a car down the oh, line. Shit. And, uh, nobody, nobody injured. But, you know, they've been having a spate of problems on this line. They sure have. Well, uh, hopefully we'll get there safely and we'll get you over to the market. What's the name of the night market? Oh, I'm just thinking of some, some snow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have yeah. no idea. But it's going to be fun. The night train market. That's what that is. It's called the night train market. Yeah. All right. I was saying, it's a little weird because we took the BTS line, the Sukhumvit line, to Samrong, and from Samrong we picked up this, which is an MRT line. But they don't take the MRT card, they take the BTS card. It's kind of strange why so they do that. We didn't get our discount. Yeah, you know, we didn't get our discount. You know, we're old men, we get a senior discount, half price. So, I'm not sure why that's the case, but at least we're on our way. got off one stop too soon. We thought this was 17, it's 18. We have to go one stop down, but let's just show you what this area looks like outside of downtown Bangkok. A goof up on my part. We did think this was uh, the 17th stop, but it was 18, so we messed up somehow. I don't know how we managed that. I don't know either. I looked at numbers and I saw the numbers. I, I did too, yeah. Now I looked at the side and it's still 17. Aye, aye, aye. You put both of us together and you don't get much, do you? But look at this beautiful sun going down. That's worth the price of admission. Awesome. Well, we're on the road again. One stop and then we gotta make a change. We messed that up pretty good. Well, we made it to here. Wherever here is, we're a little out of our element. We've never been down this way before. Now we have to figure out how to get to the night market, but we'll get there and it'll be great. It's Friday night, so it should be crowded also. <laughs> okay, so we are going to this night market. This is where we are. We're just here right now. Yep, and we've got a, a few hundred meter walk. And it's this here, night train market, or train night market to be exact. We made it, the train night market. Shringa, uh, forget about it. Promotion, Leo, three bottles, 199 bucks. walking down a path and there's a bunch 
bunch of restaurants and bars. Don't know how far we have, but it's kind of neat. Cool shop, Homies Gelato. All right, ice cream. There are so many cool hip shops like that all over Thailand. It really brings out a lot of the charm of this country and of Bangkok. train set up there really is yeah it's because the parts fell off the parts oh, fell, no, off the the parts fell off ah. is that why they're doing they it? fell off from the from because it's a second hand train yeah and the parts fell off onto the road today and uh, they said it won't be fixed till midnight but the trains are still running up and yeah, all that's right why they, so that's probably why they're making you change oh, yeah. so we had it changed cars because anyway, yeah, parts fell the off of the train the isn't that nice uh, so they've yeah. screwed everything up apparently but here's our guide that's all good. As our starting point, here are a bunch of restaurants. I don't think we're gonna head that way. We're gonna go more towards the market itself. Just as a starting point, it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff here to check out already. Uh, so you buy your dried squid, and then they, they cook it over the fire with the hot, and then they, they, they flatten it out, and then it's just like jerky almost. Oh, okay, so it's like squid jerky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. I like, I like it like this. Shoes, shoot, well, sneakers, sneakers everywhere. Very much a typical market. Luckily, even though it's about seven o'clock on a Friday, not crowded. But by typical, I mean lots of food, lots of clothes, knickknacks, and now we're coming up to the antique car area. Old pickup. That's about a. 49 i don't know pickups very well you somebody's gonna have to well. someone's gonna have to correct us That's chevrolet my mom and dad had an impala like this so not street, not street this street model street. i had a 73 carmen Ghia. That got totaled out in front of my house. This looks, I don't know Carmen Ghia as well, but this looks earlier than a 73. Anybody? Comments below, please. Let us know what year it is, if you know. Based on that bumper, it looks like a, and this mirrors, it's definitely a 60s. Does not say. Waza is the bike guy. I'm more of a car guy. I've never rode a bike. Yeah, he's got more back in the back there. Yeah. Now that's a nice bug. <laughs> oh, check that out. <laughs> that's rad. And this one is street legal. Let's see this oh, one. one is too. Yeah. This one is too. Oh, yeah. What I don't know Volkswagen bug um, vans. What is the number of windows that was very very rare? It's this one. The split ones are rare. The split window, and then it's a matter of how many windows around it. Correct? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. but I know the split window is more. That's pretty cool. So. All right, guys. Once again, please comment below. Let us know what are the really rare Volkswagen vans. Side. Check out this 1959 Chevy fleet side. This is really awesome. Chevrolet Apache fleet side 59. 
the food starts. I'm hungry. What is this? Is that Coke? Frozen Coke? Frozen Coke? Yeah, I want to see. I'm hot. Frozen. They have Coke Zero? Uh, Coke Zero, I mean. No. Dang. I'd love to try that with Coke Zero. Oh, yes. Well, that's good. It's cold. Um, it's a little hot. Trying the hot it. season has come. This place is big. I'm looking at the star star building. See, these look like old train ships. Yeah. Train ships? Yeah. Okay, this is probably obviously. This is a pretty neat area. Tiki's going to want to come here. I want to bring her back here. Wazoo was just saying we could spend hours here and he's absolutely right. Look at all these cool shops. I realized the video is going to be a little bit dark. It is night out, but it is so cool here that I want to show you as much as I can without this video being way too darn long. Yeah. That was nice, bro. That is pretty cool. They might. Yeah, this Continental has got the suicide doors. See how they open this yeah, way yeah, and this yeah. way. The, uh, that was Batman or no? Green Hornet. Green Hornet. Green yeah, Hornet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Asian science butler guy. Yep. Yeah. Kato. Kato. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a charger going on here. Can't tell the year. Late 60s. 68 is my favorite with the two round. Rear headlights, like, rear uh, lights, stop lights. Some kind of Cobra kit car. I've never seen this before. Anybody? <laughs> Comments below. What is this? It's got drum brake. Getting back to my Corvair days, I'd be driving down the road and suddenly the front wheels would start shaking and bucking so badly that I'd literally have to stop right in the middle of the road to get it to stop. It, boom, 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 boom. it was crazy. My friend, a, my friend had a Corvair in high school and he kept uh, one of those push scooters in the back because it broke down so much. That he, was just, he would just be trying to go to school like, ah. Uh, it was, it was got to be the worst car in the history of the world. That was his dad's. Uh, let's, check, let's check out this bug real quick. So cool. Based on this, it's early oh, 62. I was going to say early 60s. I had a 63, but mine had the rag top roof. That was my first car. It was a party car. We once got nine people in it, and I couldn't get to the brake. And I'm yelling, move your foot, move your foot. I can't get to the brake. It was fun. Those were good old days. Wow, it was worth it to come here just for the car show. Hope you enjoyed that. It's pretty cool. Charles was saying that uh, the guy has a lot of old cars, so we were glad to see that. And here are some bikes.
that's another nice chopper. I wish I knew bikes, I don't. I appreciate the looks, but I've never rode one. And I'm not at the point in my life where I want to learn, especially living in Bangkok. You gotta be nuts to try to learn to ride a bike here. So Waz has been talking about eating bug challenge. I really never wanted to eat bugs, and I don't want to eat bugs tonight. And I haven't drank at all, so I'm not sure I'm gonna have any interest at all. But he's gonna challenge us, or challenge me. Stay tuned. So Charles, how far do you live from here? Um, from here, on my motorcycle, probably takes me about like 10 minutes to get home. Okay. You drove the bike tonight? Yeah, because it's six six o'clock, the traffic. If I would have taken the car, it probably would have taken me an hour to get here. Yeah. Forget that. <laughs> yeah. Here oh, are more locals. A lot of a lot of kids in high school, like kids come here because this is like a you know, for a hundred baht you can you can have a good time. Bug. Yeah. The steering wheel's on the wrong side, but okay. <laughs> We're looking for a burger. See if we find one. Seafood. If we're gonna eat a bug, what's the best mm -hmm. bug to eat? I don't know, man. I I don't have a hard time eating the, these maggots. Are really easy. We just bought some of these. 100 baht. I think I gotta try them. I don't think I can get away from it. Yeah. Waza said that he's done it in the past. He did these. You said you did these, Waza? I've had these before, yeah. Tasting? No, that's the ones that taste quite good. That's like a crisp to me. Okay. All right, Waza, you go first, buddy. So we got, with these ones are what they, they call them... They, uh, these maggots, right? Maggots oh, caterpillars or, uh, or maggots? Um, mealworms? Mealworms, yeah. We don't care. This is like a, like a soggy crisp. Right? See? This is okay. You can't even tell the difference, right? There's no dirt on those ones. It's actually yet, got right? a little bit of the, the garlic powder. It's okay. Yeah. All right, let's... Okay. See? See? <laughs> Protein, protein. All right, sorry for the bad camera look, but let's give it a try. It's like, uh, it's like protein powder. All right, I've been here six and a half years, my first bug. <laughs> it's okay. It's actually, in, in Thai, for slang, we would say Paul Dak Dai. It's good enough. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. No wonder people eat this shit. Sorry. This stuff. <laughs> I think that's as far as I'm going though. I can see. I've managed to change that. Not bad. First time this idiot at my age has eaten bugs. We're just saying that Lang Sap. Lang Sap, I call it pork bone soup. It is. In English terms, it is the bomb. It is absolutely delicious. So my dad makes this like green chili. Like, Gotta try this someday. He makes green chili, like a Mexican style. And I bought this like the pork bone, the neck bones at, at Macro. And I made it, I made it his way, but with the pork bones. And I was like, dad, it's way better. I was like, you gotta try it with the neck bones. Well, it's called a train market, but yet we have planes, cars, and motorcycles. We haven't seen any, tra any trains yet. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> like... Is he a, a Farang or a Thai? No, 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 he's Thai. 
He is awesome. He's got good taste. Uh, this place keeps getting better. Check it out. Air conditioner on the back. Maybe that's where he sleeps. That's cool. That is way cool. Airstream. <laughs> yeah, we're getting hungry. That ice cream was good. Those few little bugs have some protein, but they didn't fill me up. Oh, you found it right here. Burgers. Uh, and now we found a burger place. All right. You guys know I don't drink much beer, but Charles got some beer for us, so cheers. Chunk out. Chunk out. Chunk out. With ice. It does taste good with ice, especially yeah. when it's hot at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys drink beer and have never tried it with ice, try it once. You might yeah. like it. It's kind of like what a weird at, at first as an American, you're like, ah, oh, I don't want to water down my beer, but then yeah. oh, no, that's really Well when you're here in the in this heat. <laughs> anything with ice is good. Yeah. Well here's our chef. There's your pork burger coming. And check this out, folks. For 99 baht. No, it's got to be more than that. 99 baht, man. Okay. That's a, 99 baht? That's amazing. Oh. With everything, it's more. Oh, yeah. with the bacon, it's 20 baht. Okay, yeah. But still, that's amazing. That's so, so, yeah. So, it's about 140 baht. So, we think it's somewhere toast. around 129 toast, baht, 149 baht, baht, whatever it is. It's $4 or less. Look again. Ah, it's awesome. This is, okay. This is. Mr. Waza, you want to hold that while I try to eat this? All right. This is impossible to eat as a regular hamburger. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, medium rare and everything. Oh Looking wow. Good. Well, good. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah, good. 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 Mmm. Messy. That's mm. the way it's supposed to be. That's a backyard burger right there. That's Waz's masterpiece. Wow. These chefs are great. I'll make sure that I put where they're located. You'll see it in a second in the video. You too, I got I can't, you have to grab it. My hands are all messy. It's okay, it was worth it. Supposedly, here comes mine. Oi. Oh, yeah. Oi. Oh, yeah. Oop, yep, there we go. Really, I don't know. Can you even get your mouth around it? No, not easy. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this needs a knife and fork. <laughs> <laughs> that was an absolutely awesome burger. Fantastic flavor. This is where we are. And that's their little shop. Expat Paul, if you're watching this video, you might want to try that burger place out. It's well worth a visit. And of course, this market is fantastic. So uh, I highly recommend it. Let's see where we're near. Black pepper steak. And here are the shops surrounding it. Now the dinner's over, we're gonna just walk a little bit through the market, show you a typical market that you've seen before. But this one is pretty big and it has a lot of nice shops. 200 baht for a pair of jeans. You can't get that. Like you can't no. get six dollar jeans in America. <laughs> six dollars for a pair of jeans. Yeah. Gotta find them to fit you first.
really a great market, folks. If you are here in Bangkok and want to check out this market, let me know and I'll give you, I'll make sure you get the proper Real link. Thai leather. Like, all, all Thai leather. That's cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. We are on a mission to find a frozen vodka drink that I used to get at the original Road Fi Market, which was part of this and now closed. And hopefully we'll find it and I can show you. It's really excellent. Yep, that's it. I think strawberry. Yeah. I think it'll be strawberry. We'll do a strawberry. This thing rocks, guys. Yeah, with the gummies on it and stuff. Yeah, I've never cool. seen the gummies. It's cool, it's cool. It's a little jelly. Yeah, jelly action. It's like a dessert. Dessert for adults. <laughs> so it's strawberry and vodka and then whatever else they put in it. It's a, a strawberry icing with vodka. Oh, that's good. Bye for now.